Hi, I'm Mr. Kwan, and I love sushi. But the thing is, sometimes it can be really expensive. But when I was in college, I found this sushi restaurant in Southern California. It was called Marumaki. And as you can see, they have pretty good reviews. They also do this thing that I've never seen any other restaurant do before. So their business model is that when you walk into the restaurant, they charge you a $5 seating fee, and then everything on the menu becomes $4. No matter what you order, everything becomes $4. Do you think that's a good deal? So here are some scenarios where we could ask some questions. So here's scenario one. If you were really hungry and you ordered 17 items, how much would your bill come out to? Here's another scenario. If your friend told you that their subtotal, or the amount of the bill without tax, came out to $33, would you be able to figure out how many items they ordered? And if so, how would you figure that out? Let's transition from talking about sushi to talking about gasoline. Did you know in the state of Oregon, it's actually illegal to pump your own gas? I've driven through Oregon a few times and it's always been kind of confusing. One thing that kind of confused me is, are you supposed to tip the person that fills up your gas in the state of Oregon? I never know the answer to that. So if you know the answer, maybe you can tell me. Another question that I have is, how is this scenario different than the sushi example? Well, for one thing, in the example of the sushi, you can really only order whole numbered items, right? Like it doesn't make so much sense to go to the restaurant and say, I want 1.75 orders of this sushi roll, but you can do that when it comes to gasoline. If you want, you could go to the gas attendant and say, I would like 1.75 gallons of gasoline. So here are some more scenarios that I have questions about. Let's say that the gas costs $2.29 and you decide to tip the attendant $7. If you got 1.75 gallons of gas, how much would your total be? Another question that I have is, if your friend's total came out to $18, how many gallons of gas did they get? So in this unit, we're gonna talk about how to answer these questions that I have posed for you. So stick around and we'll talk about that.